So here. Take him in, Esmeralda. What follows is no easy thing to see. Yes. Come along, Alfonso. Chants of Valiante. While being burned at the stake for cursing King Fernando, the witch Anna gave birth to a child. It was taken by the demon that came to feast upon the burning witch's soul. Try though they might to overtake the rider, the king's army pursued him in vain. It was as though demon and child alike had simply vanished from the world of man. Once health had returned to the king, he called for a witch hunt throughout his domain, at Mendoza's urging. For the crime of trying to assassinate Mendoza, the warlock Guillermo was the first to fall. He was. 
was by no means the last. Don't let him escape! They're yelling the after him! <laughs> and warlocks were killed. When it came, death was a blessing. <laughs> this 17-year-old tale to an end. How's that for Pillow Talk, Precious? Terrible. What a pitiful ending. You still haven't told me what happened to the demon knight or the witch's baby he ran off with. <laughs> Wouldn't Mendoza like to know? He's hunted them to this very day. Awful man. You promised me a story that would pique my interest. What a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was. That was the official version. What if the truth was far afield? Go on. What would happen if you looked at the same tale through the eyes of the condemned witch? Oh, devil take the witch. Who cares what she thought? She bartered away her soul to hell and trade for magic, just like they all do. It's disgusting. I'll say whatever you like, but this next part of this story may leave you feeling otherwise. How'd you like me to tell you the God's honest truth about witches? Far from being in league with demons, it's a witch's job to seal them away. Seal away? How so? Shouldn't that be handled by a priest? Priests can't do anything about them, except piss themselves before they get torn apart. <laughs> I think our local cleric would take issue with that statement. Oh, he can squawk all he wants. <laughs> fact is a fact. Hmm. I'm still not convinced, handsome. Didn't the king get better after they executed that witch who was said to have cursed him? That means the hex died with the woman who placed it. Maybe. Maybe it was just a coincidence. Or maybe the witch was framed. By who? A demon. Or a human who's in league with him at the very least. <laughs> Impossible. If they were real, these demons of yours, we'd be hearing about attacks damn near every day. You know, this work's had me warming beds and capitals and backwaters alike. And I've never laid eyes on a single one of these demons you speak of. Oh? Well, I've got a demon I can introduce you to. Easy now. The money comes first. How mercenary of you. And here I thought my roguish charm had already sealed the deal. I'm not a charity, handsome. I'll level with you. I'm a little light on coin right now. I... Well, that's it then. Wait, don't go. I'll find some. Hey, Hermann, your boy's here to get you. He says to put on your pants and drag your worthless hide downstairs already. Really? I didn't beg you for the type. Yeah, too bad he didn't inherit my lust for life, though. Just tell him his dear father is trying to do as the Lord commanded us all, to love thy neighbor as thyself. He says you'd better not show your face again. He is worse than a wife, that one. Damn it. Wait, beloved fruit of my loins. I seem to have forgotten a certain something. You know. Can you do your old man a kindness? Oh. Ow. <laughs> Sixteen, I guess. He's seventeen. God love him. Same age as that baby from your story. 
If the kid were still alive, that is. Yeah, you're right. But that's a pretty big if. <laughs> you cad! <sighs> about what you told me before. Have you ever seen a demon? That I have. Liar. Not about that. Thing is, they don't look the way priests always make them out to. In fact, a lot of the time they're closer to animals. They devour the unwitting from the inside out. After that, they assume the prey's identity. No one's the wiser. Till the demon gets hungry again. <laughs> That's horrible. All right, let me ask you something. I've been hearing rumors about this place and brothel customers who never make it back to their homes. That kind of thing happens a lot. Men get bored of their wives after a bite of the forbidden fruit. <sighs> Wish it were that simple, but it's not. There's a horror skulking about. Bet my life on it. A horror? That's what demons were called. At least before the church, anyway. in 
my blood and to purge this world of horrors like you. of those fools, then what's the point? Are we really going now to Valiante? We are. Back to the land where we lost her. <laughs> Let us celebrate the birthday of my precious son and heir to my throne, to Prince Alfonso. Congratulations, Prince. Prince Alfonso. May the hero of our realm, the Knight of Light, smile upon you. You honor me greatly, Father. Mother, too. <laughs> Only yesterday, you but came to my knee. Throughout your childhood, you were so frail. It does my heart good to see how you've grown. I love you more than I can ever say. As do I. For twenty years, you have kept me safe from harm. Now it is time for me to show our land the same kind of devotion and care. I thank you, dear mother. Alfonso. I have worn this pendant for protection since I was a babe in arms. Take it. It's yours now. single word of confession. 
For those with eyes to see, the truth is plain as day. It's clear to me only a fool would levy the charge of witchcraft against you. Father, I... you could use a dip. Whenever you're done down there, we should go. Sure you don't want to take a dip first? Nah, maybe later. For the love of God, Leon. What? Your 
face is so grim. Would it kill you to smile? Kill me? Not exactly, but it wouldn't be natural. This is the face I was born with, you know that. Boy, please. Ladies require a more inviting expression. Good. Then they'll keep their distance. Huh? That's the opposite of good. Do you want the fire markings to keep coming back? What's that to do with it? It's time to grow up and be more like dear old dad. Submit to the charms of the fairer sex and those markings... Oh. <laughs> Shut up! You are disrespecting my mother talking like that! And I won't allow it! Leon, please calm down. Wait, 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 not in the face! <laughs> Master Alfonso. Expert skill. Thank you. Though I can't help but feel he went easy on me. Whether he did or not, Your Highness, it's poor form of you to suggest it. Ah. Quite right. I apologize. Uh. Cretan! You've dashed the royal emblem to pieces! Uh, forgive me. It was an accident, I swear! Idiot! Accident or not, you bring ill omen upon us all! You! Take him away and have him whipped! No! No, please, I beg you! Your Highness, what are you doing? An emblem can be repaired, can it not? It is but an object. Or would you have me whipped as well? Of course not! The very idea! You! Clean up this mess and go! Uh, thank you, Your Highness. Thank you! You're welcome. Tis a barbaric custom. I'd just as soon see it abolished. Alfonso has grown into a fine young man. A prince of the people if there ever was one, your majesty. You must be proud. Our son upholds your teachings. <clears throat> oh no, are you in pain, my dear? Octavia, his medicine. Thank you. Here, my husband, drink of this. No, stop! Mendoza, what is the meaning of this? You are in the presence of the king. That I am. Forgive the outrage, my liege. I had no choice. It has recently come to my attention that the root of your august person's decline is poison. What? Yes, the wine administered at the royal table has been tainted. As is the very elixir your wife would have us believe carries the power to restore you. It can't be! This questionable physic was concocted by you, my queen. Is that not so? What are you insinuating? High treason. A base act of treachery executed by you against your royal husband and master! This is outrageous! Why would I poison the man that I love? What could I possibly stand to gain by it? Enough, your lie is found out. Your stake is Alfonso. After all, what is a decrepit husband to a son on the throne? You speak nonsense. Is his majesty really the father? How dare you? How can you ask such a thing? Mark me, Basilisk! I won't forgive this! Hey, hey! Not a bad bargain, if you ask me. What possessed you to sell them? Are we to make the rest of our way on foot? Battle cannot be waged without coin. Or stealth, horses are too conspicuous. So we're at war? <gasps> You're such a cat! You know I can't stand to be bored. For heaven's sake, Ronnie, give Lydia a kiss! Let's find a nice, quiet place to divert ourselves for a while. Listen up, son. There's something you need to know. You inherited your armor from your mother, granted. Which means you're the only one who can summon it. I know. Trouble is, who then inherits your father's armor? See? That's a problem. My legacy still waits for an heir. Therefore, I need to breed. I need another son to groom as the Soro Knight. Son of a bitch. Fuck! Glad you understand. Incidentally, you're on your own for dinner tonight. Uh, you are the worst father imaginable! I hope your armor rusts, jackass! Bastard. What could my mother have possibly seen in him? Yesterday, the embers are still warm. Young maidens have been disappearing left and right, the work of a witch, people say. And so the hunt has escalated most terribly. 
Authorities just took another poor wench from the outside. Perhaps when she burns, these horrors will end. <laughs> Good of you to come, Father. We've been waiting. Well done. Another witch captured is a boon to all. Yes, sir. The wanton slut maintains she's but a traveler. However, several witnesses reported seeing her heal the carpenter's daughter with strange magic. What is your name? The priest is speaking to you. Answer! My name? Emma. You smile, my child. Can it be you fail to grasp the weight of the charges levied against you? Witches are tortured and burned at the stake. Of course, those who confess early are spared the wrath, and their pyres arranged so that death is quick and painless. I see. A lingering demise versus one that comes quick. What a fine choice. Do you not see? She is insolent! Let us torture the wicked creature and be done with it! Mm. Do not be so quick to condemn. Let us give her the night. Perhaps she will reconsider. Perhaps. Hear that? Just be grateful you found Father Nicholas in a merciful vein. <clears throat> I think the man, except he's not my type. Hold your tongue, serpent! <laughs> for a priest to be up, don't you think, love? I was hoping to divert myself with conversation, if you're amenable. Don't worry. You needn't utter a word. Your body and I shall do the talking. Truly, I'm not worthy of the honor. <laughs> shall I tell you a secret? A witch's flesh is full of mystery. Somewhere on her body is a place which knows no pain, even when pierced with a needle. During interrogation, every inch of her is plumbed and prodded until that special place is found. Delicious acreages of skin pricked over and over and over. Don't you know an old wives' tale when you hear it? Superstitions often mask an underlying truth. Perhaps the fabled spot is merely the witch's body retreating to merciful numbness. Or worse, perhaps her threshold for pain can be overwhelmed to a point at which it is no longer possible to shriek or weep though the agony surges on. Let us now discover your threshold. Be my guest. Uh, As I suspected. What does that mean? I breeze into town and ferret out a horror almost immediately. Oh, oh I see. I take it you're a Makai alchemist. Tell me something, you wretch. Does the name Luciano mean anything to you? Alas, not a twinge of recollection. Right. Okay, then. Never mind. Forget I brought it up. Quite. My dear girl, even if you are an alchemist, there exist a variety of ways to enjoy you! Oh, yes. Come, my petulant little vixen. Let me hear the sound your kind makes under the blade. A horror! Leon, this one's all yours, son. Are you all right? We made it just in time. 
allow me to introduce myself. I am known as Hel- Chan Pei. Thank you, but your help was not needed. <laughs> his abilities. <laughs> what about you? Are you hurt? Of course not. I see the Makai Knights are as presumptuous as ever. Ouch! Well, that's gratitude for you. Your Highness! Prince Alfonso! Garcia! What? What's wrong? Speak, man! <laughs> this can't be true. How?! You mustn't. Get as far away from here as possible. What's happened? Tell me. It's not safe. They'll come for you in a trice. Mendoza has betrayed our trust. Then he will pay. Go. Fly away. Leave me. Escape with your life, my son. Hide in self-imposed exile. And return to liberate us as the Golden Knight did long ago. As you wish. Of 
Makai Knights. An infestation. Slinking like rats into every crevice, fouling all they touch. Mother. Father. I will return, I swear it. God be with you until that day.
didn't mean to offend you. My thanks for the drink. Have a good night, Herman. What? This is beginning to be a pattern. Guess I'll drink alone. Barky! I do not want to see the bottom of this mug. Well, are we going or what? Uh, <laughs> I don't see Emma anywhere. What did you expect? A goodbye kiss? Hunts of Valiante thin our ranks with every passing day. The watchdog centers a mere shadow of its former self. Bloodied as we are, Roberto, the day when horrors reign supreme cannot be far off. And I am but an alchemist half slain already. Hush, Marcelo. Dry your eyes. Tears are not becoming of a night. Master Gael, this is the motto ring. Yes, as heir to his bloodline, Anna's father passed it down to her. Well, the demon sealed within has long since fled his broken prison cell. Yes, but what is broken now can be made whole again. So the child is to inherit Garo? Very well. Speaking of the boy... Flames, eh? Whatever it may be, it doesn't seem to torment Leon any. I do so hope you're right. It will take me a long time. I'm in no hurry. Though he'll be wielding a sword soon enough. I'll fix it. Though I think it'll take whatever years I have left to do so. Ah. Oh. to fear, my lad. The flames shall be quelled. The demon Zaraba will serve you in good stead, as befits he who possesses the golden armor. Right. I look
look into your eyes, and it's the Garo of old that stares back. So, you knew my grandfather? In our youth, I fought at his side many a time. In all of my days, I've never known a stronger knight. His blood is the lava that rages within you. My work here is nearly done. I will employ all of my remaining power to see the Mado Ring made whole again. It shouldn't be long now. Damn it. Why are they here? I never thought he'd really come back for it. I've protected the ring for all these years. But now, they'll steal you. My precious Zarva. 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 Sixteen years. It feels like a lifetime ago. The infant Leon now stands on the cusp of manhood. Give Zarva back! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Would that I could. But the ring was only in my possession for a moment. You're lying. I let down my guard a bit. I should have assumed that he'd already turned into a horror. He attacked me and took back the ring. I hope Master Gael is all right. I wish it had been me. I'll go help Leon try to track down that alchemist woman. Marcelo, I'm going to have to take a look at that sword of yours first. I've met that alchemist woman. I've seen her cords in action. She's deadly with them. But they're not much good for stabbing a man. If you don't show me your sword, I'm going to have to assume you did it. If Saruba puts you up to this, he played you for a fool. You don't have the first idea what owning that ring's about. Shut up! What the... Hey, oh, be careful. He's one of them. Got it. You thought you'd come and take the ring from me, but now you're going to pay for your greediness! <laughs> Wait, why isn't it working? Too bad you didn't ask Gael about the particulars. A demon like Saruba will only form a contract with the Golden Knight Gato. At the end of the day, Marcelo, you killed your master for nothing more than a bit of jewelry. Oh, you're lying. This... this is my chance... to be someone! <laughs> you going crazy again. I won't. All right, go ahead and take the lead on this one, but don't come crying to your father if you lose control. Stranger, do you mean to form a contract with me? Yes. Know that I am not your servant, but a silent partner in your exploits. In exchange for my power, you shall let me taste of your life upon the new moon henceforth. My name is Saruba. When Garo came to be, thus did I. Our fates are one. through Master Gael's mementos. Thank you. Hey, was this a coincidence or did you follow us here, Emma? <laughs> Can't tell. I thought I had some business to attend to nearby, but turns out I don't. Maybe when you're a bit older, we can give it a whirl. Uh, uh, Hasta luego. Perhaps our paths will cross again in Santa Bar. Don't assume I'll be dogging your footsteps, though. 
More's the pity. If only you detached it to my clothing, think of the fun we could have had. <laughs> what was that about? Don't tell me you didn't know. She put a tracker on you. Tracker? Ah, that woman! The traitor's Prince Alfonso has been spotted nearby. It is your duty as a subject of King Bernardo to report any sightings immediately. Harbor this man or aid in his escape, and your life is forfeit. Father. Mother. embraces evil, horrors feast, possessing those who invite them. Such vile, poisonous creatures have been hunted since time out of mind, relentlessly pursued by men of the armor, the Makai Knights. of dark rumors have come out of late. The map says we should be right on top. This is a waste of our time. No harm in taking a quick peek, Leon. But you're always going on about our sacred mission to vanquish horrors. How it's our nightly duty. <laughs> right, son. Heed your father's wisdom. Sacred missions are all well and good, my boy. But sampling the wine and women of small country towns, these are the moments you treasure for a lifetime. Ah, well met. 
My son and I are mere pilgrims traveling to the Holy Land. Some small piece of gossip drew us here. <laughs> Rumors of the mysterious always pique our curiosity. It seems this small gossip of yours has led you astray. Ours is a simple village that keeps to a simple faith. We know little misfortune here. Oh, we had heard whisperings of strange disappearances. A monk at a church official, if I recall it true. No such thing, good sir. You must have been mistaken. Truth be told, it is the sudden appearance of wandering folk that drives our citizens back to the safety of their homes. Travelers are often known to bring ill fortune. I must insist you be on your way. <laughs> it appears your leads were wrong this time. Come on, let's get out of here. Why so eager to put this place behind you? You should know best. Don't go on about revenge again. God above! Sometimes I think you've been replaced by a horror. <gasps> Have you... Get off! This drive for vengeance will tear you apart. If you insist on getting torn to shreds, it's much more fun if you let women do the honors. Hey, maybe you didn't get it after last time. You gotta pay the toll if you ever trespass over here again. You scared now, boy? Got no more smart comebacks? We'll take that stupid doll first. Give it here. I said give it to me! What'd he do? What happened? Let him go. Three on one's kind of unfair. We weren't gonna do nothing to the kid. Oh, I think you were. Maybe we'll jump in and even up the numbers a bit. What do you think, boys? You should leave this place while you can. That's right. The whole village has been cursed. His mom's an evil witch who cast a spell on this place. If you don't get the hell out, you'll be her next victims. <laughs> Guess the village has a mystery after all. You snapped at the hand of that mean bully. Thank you. It's late. We'll take you back home if you show us the way. I'm back. Aloise, welcome home. <sighs> Who are these two? They saved my doll and me from the other boys. Did they now? I do hope you said thank you. Aloise! <clears throat> he seems a good boy, if perhaps a little impetuous. Truth be told, he only began acting so heedlessly after his father passed. Since then, the only company he's kept is with that doll he found in the forest. Uh, I am grateful. I'm very sorry for the trouble, good sir. Come. None of that. Call me Herman. This is my son, Leon. I am Aurelia. So, a pilgrimage brings you hence? Yes and no. We heard some kind of curse had befallen the area, so we thought that's worth a look. Ah, you're both witch hunters. Mm -hmm. The townsfolk told you I was some kind of sorceress. Please, worry not. I have no curses at my disposal. Seems only fair to tell you, my charm is often called quite bewitching. <laughs> <laughs> Are you certain you're a pilgrim and not a jester, Herman? Uh, touche. I'm happy to offer you a place by the fire. You won't find similar welcome elsewhere in town, I fear. Oh, that would be wonderful. I've spent many nights outside nodding off to my son's griping. lying to us. You said a band of thieves hid all their treasure somewhere out here. He's not lying if he knows what's good for him. Wait, you brought us to the swamp? This place is haunted! Uh, he's right. Mama said never to come out here after dark. Why would folks think you're a witch? They've always been untrusting I wasn't born in this village. My husband was a wanderer, and one day we settled here. After he was taken from us, all manner of ill fortune befell the town. I'm sure the disappearances don't help. True. Nothing remains of them afterwards. It's as though they've fallen into the ether. That's what happened to the lad's father? No. He was set upon by a band of thieves on the road to the capital. 
That hardly seems enough to name you a sorceress. I am easy to hate. They need someone to heap their scorn upon. Why not the outsider? The one who never truly belonged. Why did the mayor try so hard to deceive us? He decried the disappearances as rumor. He was trying very hard to hide something, tossing us out the way he did. Heathen witch! Give me back my son! How many children must you take from us? Return my boy to me right now! Give him back! Tell me where you took my child, sorceress! Breathe, everyone. I'm sure this is just a misunderstanding that we can all work out. Well, well, your presence here does explain quite a bit. The she-devil saw fit to summon help. Now then, the truth. If some children are missing, we want to help search for them. Why don't you tell us what you know? We know that the witch's child led them into the forest. He was seen. My son hasn't left our home. Stop your filthy lying! I assure you the boy's been here all the time. You're no better than her! Step back, rest your anger, and consider. You told us that this was a village of faith, sir. And I tell you now that this is a village matter. Be silent and do not interfere with things well beyond your knowing. Take her now. She will soon confess. Stop this! Easy! Now! Come along! Get back here! My apologies! These long legs are a curse. Leon, you handle him and I'll make sure Aurelia is safe. It's about time you started telling us the truth. You called them here. They just happened to come to our village then? What did you tell them of the ceremony? I told them nothing, I swear. Mm. <laughs> I'll ask you one more time. What did you tell them of the ceremony? Come quickly! Sir, you're home burned! Fighting the flames as best we can, but hell itself seems to stoke them all. He did this in his final breath. A curse.
You're all right. I was worried about you. Come, let us go. Where's my mother? Don't you worry. My old man promised that he would take care of it. He may be a fool, but he's no liar. What do you think? Very well. Why did you run so far? The villagers never go there because it's haunted. I knew it'd be safe. Whose home was it? An old woodcutter's. He was the person the villagers used to hate. And where is he now? Why did you come here? Why did you come to this forgotten village? Because we think that something here is hurting innocent people. It's our job to put an end to it. Like what? Like the people who killed my father? No. We aren't bounty hunters who can chase after any common brigand. I'm sorry. See, I told you they didn't know. All of them are clean, not pure, but there's no horror among them. Which can mean only one thing. Can't be him. Let me finish this. I wouldn't want you to have to cut down a child. <clears throat> then don't treat me like one. A horror must be ended, be it in the form of a man or a boy. I hope you have the strength. <clears throat> no response. None at all. If it's not him, all that remains is a force from outside the village. Miss Aurelia. What of the woodcutter? I found Alois at a hut in the forest. When I asked, he told me it was once the home of a woodsman. The villagers called it an exorcism. They claimed it would purify our land, our misfortunes. Inside his doll. Where is my son? My Alois? Hurry! We have to get as far away as we can! Those men just want to take me away! I won't let them have you! Then do just as I tell you! Come on, faster! Alois, listen, you have to hand it over. Trust me, it's deceiving you, trying to use you to harm the others in the village. Give me the doll and I'll destroy it. I knew something had 
changed in him. Safe travels. It's not right. Let it be, son. It's hard to protect man if you know the darkness in him. to his will. The power it gives him, he would use to rule the kingdom of Valiante unchallenged. <laughs> Very well then, you must lend me your strength that the villain may be stopped. Mm. Sir, as heir apparent, I have a duty to this land. My mother needs me, as do the folk who look to me for succor. Yet, as I am, my skills are unequal to the task. I haven't the prowess to slay these things as you do. <laughs> Please, sir, teach me to drive these devils back to the hell from whence they came! How can you know the enemy if you do not know yourself? 
the truth must be brought to light. The truth of what? I am Raphael Banderas, a friend of the late Golden Knight, God rest his soul. Where the human heart embraces evil, horrors feast, possessing those who invite them. Such vile, poisonous creatures have been hunted since time out of mind, relentlessly pursued by men of the armor, the Makai Knights. If I were you, <laughs> oh, you are playing with fire. What's that? Money? Why, yes, of course, I'm good for it. Disgusting man. Oh. Oh. Even your dreams betray you for a lech. Now get up. We need to eat breakfast. How are you so full of vigor this early in the morning? Unlike someone we know, I go to bed at a reasonable hour. Oh, yes, of course. I see the logic. If we must be prudent, best get it over with now. <laughs> You, out of bed. Golden Knight. This is the day of the new moon, the day of promise. An increment of your life has come to you. Ages pass, horrors were a bane of which every man, woman, and child were aware. Those who fought them were lauded as heroes. But time wore on and people forgot, as they are wont to do. Now those who fight horrors are persecuted as witches, tortured, burned. Your kingdom has set its share of fires. Violence against man is forbidden to us. Unable to defend themselves, dozens, no hundreds of my comrades have lost their lives to ignorance and ambition. Yes, Mendoza had a singular passion for inciting hatred against witches. Was that part of his plan? Aye, he reviles our kind. Knights, alchemists, allies, he would have us and our kin all murdered. And the Knight of Light isn't just a legend. He's real. The Golden Knight... Garo. The blood that coursed through his veins is within you. <gasps> but of course, there's a new moon tonight. I should have known. This is the one day of the month when the Golden Knight lies in Torbor. The day when Mado Ring Zaruba claims a portion of the vessel's life. <sighs> And that's all I can remember. I should have asked your mother for more detail. The armor of a Makai knight is passed down by blood. So it is with the Golden Knight. Once there lived in Valiante a witch, sentenced by Mendoza to burn for the crime of hexing the king. In truth, she was a Makai alchemist, and she carried within her the grandson of the Golden Knight. Even as she died, she gave birth. An infant emerged from the flames. Thus, the Golden Knight's bloodline survived. I know the story well. A man rescued the boy, and there's been no sign of either of them since that fateful day long ago. Yet, as it happens, the child was not the woman's only kin. She also had a sister. What were their names? Anna Louise. She was the condemned. Her younger sibling... Esmeralda. Ana Luis held a sacred duty to fight as a Makai alchemist, but also to continue her father's bloodline so that his golden armor could be passed down. Esmeralda was adopted by nobility, spared the life of a warrior. She lived happily 
Her every need attended to. She's a fine woman, but she's lived in ignorance of her elder sister, of horrors, of the truth of her own birth. She was kept unaware. Only two people knew the secret. Myself and the man who possessed the golden armor of old, your own grandfather. Mother wore this from the time she was a girl. She said it acted as a kind of protective talisman, but she didn't know against what. After Anna's son inherited the golden armor, my role consisted in keeping vigil to watch from the shadows. Only if misfortune befell you was I to make my presence known. <sighs> Mendoza now realizes you're of the blood. His hatred of the Makai Knights cannot be overstated, believe you me. Hence the man's mendacity. Please, you must answer me this. If I am indeed descended from the blood of those who fight horrors, this means that I too have the power to defeat them? met with worse. You can certainly stand your ground against men. <clears throat> Hear me. Whether I possess a shred of power against the horrors or would succumb to them. To protect my people, I will give all that I have. My life included. How peacefully you sleep yet again today. That's right, Your Highness. Loyal Octavia is here to give serenity to your slumber. She'll remain by your side, come what may. How fares His Majesty? The medicine seems to be working quite well, sir. Mind you mix it carefully. Tis not yet the time for our king to leave the stage. Why? What of the queen? She has been vigorously questioned. The interrogators are confident of her ignorance. She knows nothing of her pedigree. What would you have me do with her? She can be made to disappear at our leisure. Let her live for the time being. She may yet prove useful against her son. Very well, as you wish. Your will be done in perpetuity, my master. from the Vatican. As he says. <clears throat> My word, connections to the Vatican, sir? That is impressive. Thank the forger. <gasps> Your grandfather excelled in battle as few men before him. A warrior from head to toe. However, a worldly man he was not. Concealing your mother's origins fell to me. I personally arranged her adoption by nobility. Your grandfather hadn't the nuance for such things. 
Not that I orchestrated her ascension to queen, mind you. That twist of fate surprised even me. I see. May I ask where we're going? Aldona, Count Romero's domain. Do you know of it? Of course. The land of grapes, they call it. Tis said the soil is so rich the vine cannot help but thrive. I suggest you look more closely. Circumstances, namely you, led me from my intended path. This was to be my original destination. But sir, Count Romero is held in great esteem far and wide. He is a lover of music and literature, the proud patron of many an artist. I'm sure that was all true at some point. However, the man of integrity is now something else. Today is the new moon. Mind you, step cautiously.
so sorry. So very sorry. Please forgive me. I beg you, teach me. I have seen what it is to fight horrors, sir. And I will do whatever I must to take up arms against them. My people need a warrior. Sir Raphael, please mold me as you will. So be it then. From this moment forward, you'll come to know all that falls within my power to teach. Sleeper awakes, does he? These kind folks were good enough to offer us a ride. What, are you still groggy? Go on, thank them! <laughs> did... did my... It's nothing. Never Spit mind. it out, Stop. my boy! There's no point in being such a cipher. It's unhealthy, bottling one's emotions. This age belongs to the unfettered. Oh, sure, whatever. There she is, gentlemen. The Mon River. Cross that and we'll be in Sanctabard. We've made it. I have seen what it is to fight horror, sir. And I will do whatever I must to take up arms against them. Sir Raphael, please mold me as you will. There she is, gentlemen. The Mon River. Cross that and we'll be in Sanctabard. Sit here on urgent business. From the castle? Siri must have come along. Where's that son of mine? We thought you would want to have your son's sword, sir. We finally returned. Yes. To the land that killed Mother. That's right. And the place where your story began. Leon, we've only been here for a moment. There's no shame in catching your breath. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Now that we're finally here, you Listen, just... Listen, son. Who knows what all might have changed in 17 years? Anita and Carmen, for example. Have they aged like fine wine? And then there's the matter of Paula. 
I think she's really blossomed in the time I've been away. Getting Mendoza on his home turf means knowing the lay of the land. And when it comes to laying, your old man practically wrote the book on it. Good luck with that. I've got the money. <laughs> Wait! I need that! Oh, child. I guess it's time for us to go, Julio. Please know that you're always welcome if you happen to change your mind later on. Thanks a lot. You take care. I'm really gonna miss you guys. selling anything right now. Your wares aren't what brought me here. Truthfully, I just blew into Santa Bar and I had a couple of questions about that castle up there on the hill. I thought a blacksmith's shop might be a good place to start asking them. The castle, huh? Uh -huh. You look like you can handle yourself in a fight, sir. Come during a spot in the knighthood, is that it? Me? A knight? Uh, maybe. They were looking for new blood for a while, but I'm afraid that time has come to an end. Let me at least buy you a drink or two. You came all this way, after all. Uh, wait, I mean, are you all right? Yeah, for some reason, my mood's suddenly gotten a whole lot brighter. Uh, boss, wait up. soldiers around this area lately. They're out patrolling the streets day and night. Can't blame them for being cautious. Not after what happened with the prince. What if he marches back in at the head of some foreign army? Is that why they've recruited so many men as of late? God protect us all if a war breaks out. You there, the young man with the stern face. This blue cheese from the town of Berlou is like nothing you've ever tasted before. Here, why don't you give it a try? It's on the house. I'm fine. Thank you, though. Mm, never mind the cheese then. Not if you found something else that's more to your liking. A roll in the hay is sure to put a smile on that face of yours. And that one there has never had the pleasure. A handsome guy like you, she might let you do it twice. Look, I'm sorry, but I really didn't come here for that. Could be you followed your dowsing rod then. Hey! There ain't no shame in it. Unhand me! <laughs> Lay on, you silly goose. You mustn't wander off. Emma, what the hell are you doing here? Come on, let's away. Uh, hold on, where are we going? Someplace the cheese won't give you a rash. Give me what? <sighs> Damn it all, we almost had him too. He's got one that's been around the block from the looks of her. If I knew he was partial to older women, I'd have broadsided him with these widow makers. You might have killed him. <laughs> hey, would you let go? I could have handled that. You didn't need to butt in. Oh, really? So you would have ravished her had I not dragged you away? <laughs> Don't be a fool. I would never do something like that. Not till, you know, there's a girl. Then we get there. In our own time. <gasps> you mean, you've never bedded a girl? Not once? You really are a chico. Not that uh, there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> I don't need your pity. I'm not like my old man, all right? Or you. Yes, I get that. We're much less prone to yelling. Shut your mouth! It's none of your business what I do. Well, I suppose you don't know about any new horrors showing up around here, do you? No, why should I? You don't even have sense enough to be ashamed of that. Listen, Chico, and listen well. Anchor isn't a virtue. All it does is blind you to the things you're too enraged to see. What are you trying to say? You need to become a man, Leon, and quickly. In 
every sense of the word. <laughs> Drink up, Jordy. This round is on the house. Ah, oh, you're a real prince. Folks around here hold you in high regard. It's hard not to like the man. Not only is he one of the finest blacksmiths I've laid eyes on, but the work he did while on the Citizens Council has done a lot of good for us common people. Well then, sounds like he had that beer coming. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Do you mind if I ask about the knighthood? I forgot. That's what we were talking about before. It's old enough news in these parts. But the knight who'd been heading up the king's army lost his life in some sort of accident. The man's body wasn't even cold when a new fellow showed up to fill the vacancy. Armor, dark as the abyss. Cut a dire figure, he did. Folks took to calling him the Black Knight. Naturally. He founded a new military order deep within the castle's walls. They called themselves the Brotherhood of the Black. Between their fighting prowess and their dark armor, their foes are right to be terrified. They sound like a force to be reckoned with. Their numbers were low, so in a move to fill their ranks, they cast their nets far and wide in the hunt for able men. Even the peasantry? Even us. They took in hopefuls from all over the kingdom, money and birth be damned. They said that if you passed the real combat test at the end, you could even be knighted. Hell of an incentive, wouldn't you agree? So they'd fight to the death. That they would, my friend. I know better than most, for I have got a personal connection to it. <laughs> Serhi, my son, took everything they threw at him and passed with flying colors. Call it empty bragging, but I'm proud as hell of that boy. Would have been easier just to learn my craft and live a simple life, but he wanted to do right by the kingdom. Like father, like son, I bet. Kind of you to say that. <laughs> What's the matter? Damn head. Guess I drink too much. Looks like I'll have to call it a night. Sorry. Find me tomorrow if you want to talk some more. Uh, all right. Get home safe. <sighs> from the castle. You better tell me where my son Serhi is. I've never heard of him. I'm sorry, but... My boy is one of your comrades in arms. How could you not know him? Not a single one of us goes by that name. What kind of fool do you take me for? You're lying to me. Liars. All of you.
Hold your head up, Julio. Even the king and his knights use the swords we make. Bloodline doesn't matter in a smithy. Only the sweat of your brow. Long as you're willing to work, you can forge yourself into the man you want to be. Take those words close to you. Oh, lads, I want to tell you something. Huh? This little ragamuffin needs someone to raise him right, and I'm the man for the job. Zerhi, meet your little brother. Hey, Julio. Welcome to the family. Thanks to the boss and Zerhi, the smithy felt like my home in no time. Watching you help that little boy back there brought all those memories back up for me. I paid for his food, that's all. Well, either way, I'm really glad you stepped up to the occasion. It must have been fate you passing by when you did. What's he doing here? Glad you could join us for dinner, Freeloader. Jeez, your timing's impeccable. That bread looks pretty tasty, hypocrite. Leon is my guest, sir. I invited him here. What? How the hell did he charm you that quickly, kid? There must be a much nicer side of him than the one he shows me all the time. Hard to tell which one of you is the parent here. You're a rogue, Herman, right down to your bones. But you ended up with a real good son. Don't I know it. It pains me how he doesn't follow my example. I'm sure he's a comfort to you, morals and all. Guess again. His tongue is so sharp, I feel I've been snake-bitten. Just where do you get off looking down on me? Save the lecture for yourself, whoremonger. <clears throat> Something wrong? Just a little head pain. <clears throat> Try not to get too angry. You're lucky to have one another. Yeah, you ingrate. You should be thankful for a father like me. Why? All you've ever done is show me how not to act. That's enough. Calm down. All right, gloves off. If that stick went any farther up your ass, people would think you're a tree. <sighs> get out. Both of you. Do you mean it? I must have a fever. My head feels fit to burst. I apologize for my words. Please stay as long as you'd like. It was boorish of us to bicker like that. Let's be on our way. Please wait! Forgive him. He didn't mean anything by it. We were acting like a pair of donkeys. He was right to get angry. What is it? You can trust us. We're friends. At the tavern. Remember when the boss was telling you about the knights at the castle? Yes, and he said his son was among them. Big Brother Serhi isn't there. Come again? He didn't survive the trial by combat. <sighs> they brought his sword to the shop so the boss would have something to remember him by. Ever since that day, he's been different. He sent away the other apprentices, and the fire's gone dark. But when he looks at me, it's like I'm a stranger. I'm sure it sounds foolish, but it's like he's been possessed by something. I'm afraid all the time. I keep thinking about it, but I don't know what to do. Please listen to me. There's something you need to hear. <sighs> no doubt about it. There's a fiend on the loose out there. <laughs> I swear to God, your son is dead, all right? He died right in front of me. He's not dead, but you are. The lions, every last one of you, get Sandy back to me.
wrong spot and it all comes tumbling down in a landslide of raw emotion. The past is dead and gone, Julio. All you can do now is set your gaze to the future. I'm afraid, but I'll try. Well, Herman, even a broken clock is right twice a day. I wonder if people will ever respect me the way they did the boss. You can forge yourself into the man you want to be, remember? <laughs> Words to live by. So, wherefore this tete-a-tete? You know how they've been recruiting new knights? Yes, the Brotherhood of the Black. Candidates kill each other for the privilege of joining. Uh -huh. What you might not know is they take the winners down underground before the ceremony to initiate them as knights begins. What awaits them? Painted ladies and booze aplenty? Not likely. A chambermaid said she heard screaming as she passed by the door one night. It was a man's voice. Oh, what did he say? Save me. Don't let that demon take my body. By the way, those poor bastards are done for. Perish in trial by combat or get devoured by a whore. What the hell is this? Got a bomb! Save us! Seems the creation of our knights continues apace. Yes, but I'm afraid one of your horrors has met with an abrupt end. Was it a Makai knight? Most likely, though I've reports of a Makai alchemist as well. Have the Brotherhood of the Black look into this matter with all due haste. What? And deny myself? <laughs> I will kill them. See that you do, then. <laughs> hey, when are we going to storm the castle already? <laughs> Come on, there's no point in being hasty. We still don't know what we're up against. For now, we wait for the ladies to dig up more information. God forbid you ever ask beyond the walls of the brothel. <laughs> Horrors tend to manifest where passions run highest. It's a dirty job, but... <laughs> really? Then what's with the fancy mirror? Is it part of your arsenal? <laughs> so to speak. There's not a woman alive who'd spurn a gift. It renders them zealous. Fatherly wisdom! You'll understand when you're older, son. You jackass! Are you ever not thinking with your codpiece? <laughs> Where the human heart embraces evil, horrors feast, possessing those who invite them. Such vile, poisonous creatures have been hunted since time out of mind. Relentlessly pursued by men of the armor, the Makai Knights. Suffice in a pinch. <laughs> Kill him! Damn it. My father's a scoundrel. Uh, uh, are you absolutely certain, my dearest? Seventeen years ago, I caught a glimpse of him when he was just a little slip of nothing. 
That boy upstairs is definitely Prince Alfonso. Uh, as far as we've been told, the young prince is on the run with a middle-aged knight of some kind. But the two of them up there seem pretty poor, don't they? That's what they want you to think, so we don't figure out who they are. Those two have been asking questions about the castle all over town, thinking nobody would put the pieces together. Guards should be here to get them any minute now. What I tell ya? Do keep still. What for? Easy there. I'm just removing the tainted blood. We know you're in there, werewolf! Dear, run! There's no time! Hey! He's a werewolf too! I'm human. The same as 
No, it can't be. I'm a man. Pepe's awake now. Geez, took you long enough. Now, Agatha, let's not crowd the boy. What's that face you're making, Pepe? That's not my name. Or... Or is it? Amnesia from the injury. It'll come back in time. Drinking this will help you. <laughs> God, that's awful. Bet you anything he was attacked by a werewolf late one night. Don't you think so? What was that? Werewolves are whispered to live among us. They live as ordinary people most of the time. But come the full moon, they devour anyone unlucky enough to cross their path. Werewolves. There's no truth to it, of course. Listen, child, you've got to stop letting your imagination run riot. Pepe slipped on the bridge and hit his head when he fell, that's all. runs an almshouse for all us village kids. Don't tell me you forgot. stuff like marriage. I'm only 17 after all. I'm flattered that you would think of me that way, but what's the rush? Well, time for me to help Sister Veronica with her chores. It's kind of neat how much they trust me to get things done over there. <laughs> what was that about? Agatha. 
Samantha, you called me Pepe. But how do I know if that's true or not? You mean to say you have no memory of who you are? Yes. I see. We're only here talking like this because I saved your life. You needed to get out of the village in a hurry. So I approached a band of acrobats and convinced them to spirit you away to one almshouse in particular. One only meant for the children of Lograha. Lograha. I've heard that name before. I'm almost certain of it. Look, I have much to do and little time to do it. We can speak more of this later. Right. Bosco? Is vintage. It erases your memory and lulls you into a waking dream evermore. Why would you have me live a lie? For Agatha's sake. Agatha? God, it's him! Where are all the children? I'd like to play for them. Uh, yonder. They're in the other room. Wait for me, Agatha, right here. Pepe needs to see the priest before we can embark. Mm. Okay, sure. Agatha's the daughter of a close friend, a fellow Makai alchemist. Her husband died young. Happily, though, she was able to fall in love again the second time around with a barber. He'd been married before, too, and had a son named Pepe. The boy grew to become one of Agatha's favorite people. But five years ago, a rumor spread that the barber was a werewolf. Both husband and wife were slaughtered in their home by a band of panicked townsfolk. I dreamt about that night. How did a little girl survive the carnage? Her brother was wise. He hid the child in the attic at the first sign of trouble. Then he made his own escape. That was the last anyone ever saw of Pepe. There was talk that a traveling band of acrobats lured the boy into their clutches. What do you believe? I think they sold him into slavery long ago. Agatha had no one left, so I took her in and raised her as my own. She'd been sick at heart over the loss of her family, so she's hung all the hope she could muster on the dream that one day her brother Pepe would return for her. <laughs> so that's why you drafted me as a substitute? Who's to say a false joy is any less comfort than a real one? What's to miss in your old life? You're a warrior, laid low by an enemy you couldn't match. <laughs> Cast off who you once were, all it grants is torment. <laughs> it's true, as I am now, I can't hope to defeat him. But if I should fall to his sword, then I may as well have perished in the flames that day. Still, no man under heaven will keep me from my revenge. Stubborn down to your bones, foolish Makai knight. <gasps> Agatha, why hasn't she come back yet? <laughs> the real Pepe has returned here this night. Tell the truth. You used traveling acrobats to peddle those children to slave traders, didn't you? Why would we do that? We are not but humble servants of God here. Lograha is a scam. None of the children ever make it there. I... 
I didn't know. We just handed them off to the acrobats. I swear on my life. Tell me where they've taken Agatha. a crybaby. <laughs> Why'd you run away? If you leave now, we miss out on all the lovely fun we're going to have. see you. Is it really? Emma told me what happened during the fight, that you lost to the man in the dark armor. It's time to rise to the challenge. I can't help you until you do. I know, thanks. So, what's the plan? I guess I could use some time. Leon, wait. I don't want to bore you with details. Suffice it to say, I'm naked, and I'm broke. I'm in a bit of a pickle. I'll be waiting. My son. It seems the creation of our knights continues apace. Armor, dark as the abyss. Cut a dire figure, he did. Folks took to calling him the Black Knight. The choreography of his blade. I know it from a lifetime ago. <laughs> of course. Hey, when are we going to storm the castle already? <laughs> Come on, there's no point in being hasty. We still don't know what we're up against. For now, we wait for the ladies to dig up more information. God forbid you ever ask beyond the walls of a brothel. <laughs> Horrors tend to manifest where passions run highest. It's a dirty job. <laughs> really? Then what's with the fancy mirror? Is it part of your arsenal? <laughs> so to speak. There's not a woman alive who'd spurn a gift. It renders them zealous. Fatherly wisdom. You'll understand when you're older, son. You jackass! Are you ever not thinking with your codpiece? <laughs> and that is how your most lovely gift met its sad demise. A tragic tale, to be sure, but not half as tragic as this son of yours. No, 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 no. That's enough about him. <laughs> <laughs> 
Though I do know another little boy of mine that understands your special gift. Quite enough, Itchy ah. Crow. Ah. Ah. Circle round. He was wounded. Won't get far like that. What the hell is going on out there? I wonder who they're chasing down this time. The soldiers always seem to be after some witch. Maybe one day they'll hunt girls like me. Name me a witch who deceives men with her pretty words and her soft kisses. I wonder if I would survive it. They'll have to send eunuchs to capture you, my dear. A flattery earns you no extra. But I must say there is something oddly appealing about a man in armor. Bound up so tight. Maybe so, but dear heart, all my best battles were fought completely naked. <laughs> oh, naughty boy! I'll show you a battle! However, when I take victory, I'm a sharp sword but no armor! <laughs> Where the human heart embraces evil, horrors feast, possessing those who invite them. Such vile, poisonous creatures have been hunted since time out of mind. Relentlessly pursued by men of the army, the Makai Knights. Right, you are right. 
Ah, anyone with eyes can see the man's desperate for it. It seems that I have been beaten. I will accept my loss. But please, if you have any honor at all, take the money. Yet leave the clothes behind. <laughs> you just pluck my heartstrings. Ain't no fun to be had in your version. Who are you to rob us of some entertainment, huh? <sighs> well, hit N.A. Got something to say? We could have had something so beautiful. What? Enough of that! Let's cut him to shreds! Put him up, lover boy! Get out of my face! New plan! Stare all you want, and think of what could have been. Son of a bitch! Get him! Come back here! With all of that commotion last night, I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Did you hear if the guard caught them yet? I heard it was a man and some kind of witch. Plenty of soldiers out today, that's for sure. Who knows what we'll see? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon, ladies? That'll do. What's wrong? Are you safe? A man made off with my body! Hardly a man, more like a three-legged beast! Maybe the one from last night! After him! Uh, get away from me, pervert! Ah, think of the children, you heathen! Bad, really bad. I'd rather stick out like this. Great, and now soldiers, why not? something to cover up with. Any poor in a storm? <laughs> yes, this will serve. <sighs> so sorry, young miss, but I'm in need of this sheet. May I borrow it for a time? There you are. Quickly, I found him. Don't move or I'll shoot. <laughs> Damn it, man. Learn how to aim. Did you kill him? Uh, no. We need him alive to tell us where the witch fled to. Hold on, what witch? Quickly, sir. Run. Much obliged. Ta!
It is the sworn duty of you Makai Knights to defend and protect. If the boy only seeks to gain power out of his desire for revenge... He may never be worthy of the golden armor. Thanks for the rescue. As for him, I'll do what needs to be done. You finding pants is what needs doing. Quite. What's the meaning of this? Uh, <clears throat> Bernardo still lives, and yet you said nothing. It wouldn't change your hunt for Mendoza, now would it? I simply neglected to tell you he was likely to appear. It seemed rather irrelevant information. It's about time I tell you this. You can sometimes annoy. You wound me, sweet Zoro. Don't you see? I kept silent to keep your pretty mortal heart from quivering and breaking at the very thought. The truth. Is he fallen? He yet lives drowned in the shadows. I do weep for his loss. We are but dogs for your purpose. Come, Anna, keep up with us. You can shout back at me all you want, but it doesn't mean the horse will suddenly do what I say. Too bad about Anna. Her hands spur neither horses nor men to action. That's quite uncouth. Well, this is uncouth. If you catch me, Anna, you can have me! God, you're such a lech. Are you all right, Anna? Uh, yes, think so. Uh... Truly an astounding dismount. Thank God you're unharmed. Or perhaps you're just owing all to your natural cushioning. Your cushioning's all in your skull. Here, hop up. Mine. <clears throat> Thank you. One of these days, I'd like to take you on in a true fight. Just say the word, then. You know that we can't. Our code forbids us such duels. You never were one to break the rules, were you? I wish that I could. Many's the time my soul has cried out for me to spurn our oath altogether. In a voice loud as thunder. Truly? Well, that was creative. That was a victory, friend. Victory?! Anna, can you believe this cheater? He's still counting it. Better keep your eye on him. <laughs> the witch! They're playing with us! Quick! Hurry, man!
forgive me, Roberto. As of tonight, I wear the armor of righteousness no longer. Face me, Roberto. Bernardo's alive. He'll come, and I can do naught but brace myself. Just my luck, my clothes are nowhere to be found. It's that kind of day. in one day seems a little ambitious. How about you go ply your con elsewhere? <laughs> Tell me what happened. I can't even be sure. But, well, after you ran away, Donato got really angry, worse than I'd ever seen before. He attacked us. Please, please believe me. Easy. I know it's true. find my clothes. Um, a pawn shop? Oh, damn it! <laughs> no time. Naked it is, then. Hey, wait! Stop! I'm not ready! Not ready! <laughs> Continue down this path, and you too will become a monster. <laughs> Don't you fret. If you like, I can stay and keep watch. You'll be safe with me. But I can be pretty intimidating, scarier than any monster. fight that you lost to the man in the dark armor it's time to rise to the challenge i can't help you until you do i know thanks so what's the plan i guess i could use some time leon wait i don't want to bore you with details suffice it to say i'm naked and i'm broke i'm in a bit of a pickle
Any fool can just swing a sword. Allow the knight's blood within you to guide the path of your blade, for only then may you vanquish your foe. <laughs> to defense, Gaia. You've grown rather haggard since last you showed your face here. Meanwhile, you're the same as ever. Maybe to mortal eyes. These days, it's all I can do to stay awake up here. The moment of well-deserved retirement draws near for the both of us. I have come in search of a horror with which to train my young protege. The more brutal the demon you can find, the better. Oh? Perhaps the Chimera of Orvian would suffice you. It takes its name from the ancient highway along the length of which the beast is known to appear. Wherever it goes, the Chimera has been known to sate its hunger on entire villages at a time. If rumors ring true, the creature is swathed in the ghastly remains of its victim. Skulls and rotting flesh telling of its past victories. A few intrepid souls have set off to hunt it over the years, never to be seen or heard from again. And you've been content to just let the beast continue its reign of terror? We've been short-handed. It's on our to-do list. Orvian, you say? The Chimera may be more than you want to throw at the boy for mere training. After all, he's no good to you, dead. There is no time. Oh? If he dies, that's the end of it. He was never going to be the one. your father, young knight. For the moment, I pursue my training alone. Such growth requires a worthy foe. Know you where I might find one. <sighs> That's all you knights ever want. It's not as though our world is just chock-a-block with horrors of awesome power, you know. But you're in luck. I can think of one that fits your needs like a glove. a great 
greater foe. It seems that the Chimera must be my fate. Once you have successfully overcome this trial, you may then don the sacred armor of the Makai Knighthood. Indeed. Are you coming along with me, Master, or am I to travel to Orvian alone? Does it matter? No, Master. I'll take my leave now. into me, my good sir. First you destroyed my pod, and now you're making excuses? I should charge you double! Wait, charge double? That pot would still be in one piece if it weren't for you, young man, and you're gonna pay me for it! But, sir, mm. I'm not to blame for this. Hold on. Your finest piece is not what it seems. Uh -huh. You, stop exploiting the man. I've never been so offended in my whole life. One of you had better pay me for that pot before I go in there. <laughs> never mind! Just watch where you're going! It's a common trick. Be careful. I never would have guessed it. I'm grateful for your help here, Sira. Uh well, hello, handsome. New in town. Decided where to stay yet? No, not really. <laughs> That's perfect. You can stay at our place. It's not much to look at, but the perks are out of this world. Uh, no, thank you. Oh, I'm fine. A cute thing like yourself needs to relax after a long day. I'm in your debt. I much prefer this tavern to what that woman had in mind. Is it your first time passing through a place like this? Ah, uh, you can tell? It's true. I suppose I should have guessed as much. I stick out a bit. Come to think of it, I never did introduce myself. I'm Leon Luis. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Alfonso. Huh. Same as the Crown Prince. It's been a burden on me ever since he ran away. What are the odds of that? Look, Alfonso. Tomorrow I must be on my way again, so do you think you'll be all right on your own? Worry not. You see, my destination lies not very far from this place. Does it now? <laughs> when you are lost, consult your blade and ask, who is it I must protect? Who is it I must protect? Therein lies the answer to everything. Whatever it is I'm lacking, the Chimera shall grant it. In the dead of night, a man or a devil. What? Alfonso? Huh? Leon, what are you doing about? The same question, my friend, I could ask of you. I was sure that a thief haunted my steps. As for me, I just wanted to get some fresh air, you know, clear my head a bit. Bye. Hey! What? Leon, are you following me? Maybe I wanted to clear my head as well. Don't you think it's time you went back to the inn? Not really. Won't you please turn around? You should take your own advice.
I still have work to do ere I breathe my last. <coughs> to the damn inn, Alfonso. Where I'm going is no place for you. Your life is in grave danger out here, so go! Yes, it is. But my duty spurs me onward to valor, come what may. What duty? Clearly, you've come here for a purpose. But I wonder if maybe our reasons for walking this highway are one and the same. <laughs> what the... Chimera of Orvian is coming. Where did you hear that name? Leon, you and I are both on the hunt for the same horror. I'm sorry. You and I are not the only people that thing could kill. There are towns and villages not far down the road from here.
sorry, Mother. Forgive me, Father. Up and on your feet, old boy, so Once you've taken up the sword, you've made a pact until your last shuddering breath. If there's a drop of blood left in your veins, how dare you give up? Master! You must fulfill your duty as a Makai knight! successor like you is more than this old man could ever have hoped for. Master, for everything you have taught me, I... I thank you. Enough! Get you hence, Gaia. Surpass me. Become the knight who serves as a shield for all. Alfonso, let me help you build a grave marker. Thank you, but I'll wield this blade 
and don his armor in tribute to his legacy. His memory defends me, as this sword does, and every day I shall honor him with it. As you honor the blood of your mother with the sword you bear, Leon. You knew? You knew the whole time, didn't you? You are the Golden Knight, Gato, a title of legend. You are myth, a hero spoken of in countless stories. All those that live beneath Valiante's skies know the name. <laughs> Such titles are only words. I'm simply a Makai Knight with aims to slay Mendoza and his horrors. Yes. And that is all that I am. True or not, you and I are both striving toward the same goal. Upon my sword, I vow, we will rid our fair country of Mendoza. Valiante will be free again. Come, let us so swear. <laughs> right. choose to address the person who just saved your life? Thank you. I'm in your debt. Next time, why don't you try looking me in the eyes when you say that, Chico? Now, think me proper. I owe you my life. Now get your hands off me. That'll do. So, why would you risk life and limb just to come back to this place? I doubt you're here for that naked fool of a father. Hey, you in there? You're back! I found the supplies we'll require. And something to eat, too. Thank you, Leon. It's good to see you're safe. Safe is not how I put it. You see... Tell me, did you happen to find your father in the city as well? I'm quite anxious to know that he's all right. <sighs> that idiot doesn't deserve the name father. Come, I won't have you speaking ill of the man who's technically my uncle. Who goes there? <laughs> A simple Makai alchemist by the name of Emma Guzman. It's such a pleasure to finally meet you, sire. An alchemist? You two fight for the freedom of this land. I beg your pardon. You are ever welcome here. Worry not, Alfonso. Pardon granted. Now then, I believe you said Herman is your uncle, if I'm not mistaken. He's an empty cask of a man ever beholden to his rudder, so if it's true, you have my condolences. Uh, thank you? Hold it right there, you accursed weasel! Wait, just wait. I can explain, I swear. I was just helping your wife with her stiff shoulders. It's a serious problem. That's just a do a damn thing to explain your own stiffness. Well, no, maybe not. Ah! Look over there, a witch showing past. She's naked as a jaybird. Where? <laughs> no, damn it. Where's that snake run off to? What kind of woman would marry a man like that? Uh, good morning, everyone. The hell were you thinking? Take your hand, Leon. This rake is your father, if that can even be possible. Sad but true, young prince. Who are you, exactly? Oh, right. Please, call me Alfonso. I am a Makai knight descended of Gado, like your son here. Huh? Descended of Gado? But how? Uh, it can't be impossible! Still, you do have her eyes. Hey! Could it be? Could my sweet Anna have loved another in secret? Tell me quickly, what kind of man was your father? Uh, no, speak not another word. Will you stop spouting nonsense for one second? No matter. You are a son of my beloved Anna, and I will raise you as my own. What? I must be alone. There is much to think on. <laughs> Who'd have thought the consummate homewrecker had such a glass job? This is all a misunderstanding. We must put his mind to rest. Let him stew a bit. But... She's right, though it's hardly punishment enough for all the crap he's pulled. How can he doubt Mother when he finds a new bed every night? He loves her so much that it's impossible to trust her. <laughs> he's almost cute all flustered. My Anna, how could 
you keep another love from me? Was I not man enough? <laughs> Santa Bar's royal palace is built upon the ruins of an old temple. There should still be an entrance tucked away somewhere near the base of the eastern cliff. Through the temple, there's a tunnel which connects to the bowels of the castle. It once served as a royal escape route, and with any luck, it's still undefended. Maybe, so, but Mendoza is certainly aware of its existence. Yes, perhaps, but it's far less risky than attacking head-on. However... What? Surely the castle is filled to the brim with Mendoza's horrors. We have no way of knowing what awaits us. Nothing good. He controls the horrors by use of a forbidden motto tool, Xerkiel's Circle. He stole it from the council. It functions like the rings you wear, but on a grander scale. The Orvian Chimera has been slain at the hand of our little Prince Alfonso. Another soul to the ranks of the Makai knighthood. I put one down and yet another rises. Such curs are not but mindless dogs, good only for hunting and birthing more. Though, Raphael's death comes as welcome news to me. I am glad of your victory. I pity the ground stained by his filthy Makai blood. Death has taken all those who stood in judgment. Excommunication? For serving our order, you would see me exiled from it? I have created a miracle. A model tool of infinite potential. You saw my results. You saw what it can do. Silence, do not speak. That which you call a miracle, Mendoza, is but defilement and betrayal. Your vile use of human blood breaks our most sacred pact, for we are sworn above all things to guard and keep mortal life. Our pact is so ancient it crumbles. We are more than humanity could ever dare dream of becoming. Why should we kneel at their feet? Why should we serve? Let us rule over them and see their precious freedom brought low. They should beg and scrape for the privilege of bleeding in our hands. How I pity you, Mendoza. You are blind to your sins even now. Were we not fettered by our oath, you would meet your end. However, we may brand you as chastisement for your corruption. Master, my tool can do more than you've seen. It can grant eternal life. You are long lost, Alchemist. It is in the birth of new life that mankind achieves eternity. You fool. We purge our order of your tainted blood. Never again will it cross our own. Written in thy veins shall be this mark. Seared upon thy children and thy children's children. Eternally shall they inherit the punishment for your sin. Why, Lester? Why have you forsaken me? Why? and saved my fair city from the ravages of the plague. Many thanks. Yes, your majesty. You are a wanderer, yes, a sage. It would give me great pleasure to have you stay a while. Why don't you enter my service here at the castle? I will serve with pride, highness. Mendoza! <laughs> ah, good to see you, my friend. I bring happy news. <laughs> your strategy was a great success. The battle's won! I owe this conquest to your advice. I live to serve, my liege. Your wisdom is unparalleled. You must have been blessed with divine insight to know that their army would fall to our assault. Blessed with the might of whores, my good lord. Huh? Nothing. Well, tis fine. Just see to it that you keep my rewards as close as you keep your many secrets. Milady, please join us inside. Meet your wife. 
This young maid is Angelina, eldest daughter of my esteemed bannerman, the Count of Ghostelia. I confess it a part of my plot to keep you ever at my side, Mendoza. <laughs> Never again will it cross our own. Written in thy veins shall be this mark, seared upon thy children and thy children's children. Uncle, 
Yeah, I'm right behind you. Just give me a minute. Herman, do you think that boy can handle it? Hmm? Well, he's faced much since this mad quest began. It's nice to see that you're worried about Leo. There's danger in those marks on his skin. Over time, he may succumb. Oh, so you noticed that. I noticed much. They respond aggressively when his passions run the hottest. The flames protect him, yet that same inferno could burn him to cinders. I've no doubt the fire's a trait of his mother. All the rest is a mystery, save that it's dangerous and we can't do a damn thing about it. Come on! We don't have all day! Wait, are you not along for the ride? My role in this siege has already been played. Besides, I know the thing I'm hunting won't be found in Santa Bard. Hunting, you say? I have a horror in mind. Look who's got a mysterious backstory ferreted away. I should have known. My apologies. I'll leave charging into certain death up to you, sir. Certain death always sounded kind of romantic to me. Hey, if I do make it out of here, why don't we have a drink? With that sentiment, you won't. So you know, I'm gonna go ahead and count that as a yes. Only if I'm up for it. I never thought I'd come home this way. What of your mother? If she's being held captive inside the castle somewhere, do you know where she'd be? Yes. They'd have moved her to the prisoner's tower. There's only one entrance, and the bridge is always held. Right. We make for the bridge. We cannot. I want my mother freed, but I return to save Valiante. My land must come first. My mother would say the same thing in my place. Even while imprisoned, it is the truth. This is the way of kings. But I am grateful. change? None. She's still as quiet as the grave. We must be vigilant. Rumor is Prince Alfonso has appeared in town. He came back? Should he come to rescue the queen, we won't survive the day. Mendoza wants her ready to move in case she must be used to trump the prince. Damn. Of all the days to get stuck guarding her. My son, for Valiante's future. You must see through the devil's traps. As I pray. What are those? There must be dozens of them. They are certainly not ancient enough to be part of the temple. Which means all of this. Everything has fallen under Mendoza's spell. become one. Well, this is a suitably creepy foundation for the castle above. I'm not sure I could sleep at night knowing this was here. What was that sound just now?
now, on to find Mendoza. Damn. And here I thought this was going to be easy. Good to see you again, Roberto. What fun. I guess neither one of us is the same man we were when last we spoke, friend. You have opted to become a lunatic's hound. Very witty. Finally, I can test those blades of yours. One of these days, I'd like to take you on in a true fight. Just say the word, then. Our code forbids us such duels. You never were one to break the rules, were you? He fought the Black Knight. Leon was no match for one such as him. The Black Knight? Yes. Bernardo Leon. <sighs> now, on to find Mendoza. Damn. And here I thought this was going to be easy. Good to see you again, Roberto. What fun. I guess neither one of us is the same man we were. You have opted to become a lunatic's hound. Very witty. Finally. I get to test those blades of yours. <laughs> That's about time. Leon, Alfonso, go on ahead. He's mine. Wait, old man. Do as I ask, Leon. He's not here for you. No chance I'll leave you here alone. Do you know what he did to me? Come, cousin, let's go. We must trust your father and keep moving forward. fight to remember. Sir Bernardo! We fight at your side! <laughs> Where the human heart embraces evil, horrors feast, possessing those who invite them. Such vile, poisonous creatures have been hunted since time out of mind. Relentlessly pursued by men of the armor, the Makai Knights. Sort of just 
some dirty tactics. Filthy. But still, I said I'd have the story, and I mean to. <laughs> Come now. One doesn't just fall from grace like that. What happened? Fight well. We will find you. Right hard. Thank me when next we meet. <laughs> On your feet! Leave your horses where they lie! Give chase and bring me that man's head! Damn it. Nowhere left to run, minion of the witch! Heed me! She's no witch, I swear! Take him now! have sworn to protect. They deserve nothing, and we're the fools. Well said. Mendoza! All men kill one another over reckless impulses. It is the natural state of humankind. Yeah. 
at your full strength. Right then, we'll call it a draw. Uh. <laughs> and to think, there was a time I envied this pathetic rick dressed in a knight's raiment. Look at you. You're a relic of a bygone era. You are a slave to knighthood, bound to honor. You are hollow! A shell already dead! down could this passage go? Look. Mendoza! Ah, uh, you've returned, my prince. How wonderful to see you safe. Enough! Your scheming stops here! Of course. I do wonder if my noble prince ever tires of playing hero. And look, you've made a playmate of the Golden Knight. Shut up, you bastard! There's a barrier. Rash as the rumors say. Weak and foolish. Take a page from our dear prince's manners and wait there in silence. These last few steps should not take very long. Truly so rare. A moon in crimson as if soaked in blood. 
It heralds the beast that shall lead this world to the purifying flame. You know we won't let you get away with this. Even the strength of your mighty watchdog counsels is nothing. All will flee before it. To hell with you and your beast! I'll see you struck down first, Mendoza. I shall protect my people from harm and defend Valiante! So confident these youths are. And yet, here is where you die. fair country of Mendoza. Come, let us so swear. If they're holding the queen inside the castle, do you know where she'd be? I want my mother freed, but I return to save Valiante. My land must come first. A bone in crimson as if soaked in blood. It heralds the beast that shall lead this world to the purifying flame. Even the strength of your mighty watchdog council is as nothing. All will flee before it.
some of the golden armor replete with hatred. It's a testament to the worst in the human heart. Mendoza, you bastard! <laughs> Legendary Knight of Light. Aliante's savior. This night will be the death of us all. He gives free rein to his lust for vengeance. How easily he abandons his duty to the people he's sworn to protect. Leon! With my sword in hand, I defy you! Come what may. Uncle. Forgive what I am to do. Your son is mad with rage. Do not try to stop me. The emblem at his waist. <laughs> Hit the Makai emblem. That should dispel the golden armor. <laughs> Strike with all your might. You have to hit hard enough to run him through. It should be me. It's a father's duty to discipline his son. <laughs> Were it not for this shoulder, I'd kill him myself. Do it, please, while he still has a soul left to redeem. Yes, uncle. Leon, how could you be so numb, even to the words of your own father? Mother! Mother!
Attacked with every bit of strength I had. Better late than never. Good uncle. The blood of the Golden Knight Garo flows through my veins as well as Leon's. That I may protect the people of Oliante. Mother mine, be with me in this dark hour. How many golden nights is it now? Their tenure's so short, it's hard to keep count. Know that I will be the last. Son, that armor is not yours to take back. Not anymore. Alfonso is its new lord and master. What became of Mendoza? He's dead, Leon. 
No doubt about it. So, I was useless. Give it back. Please. Give me back the armor. God, who belongs to me? Give it back! You want it back? While the city of our birth lies in flames? Look around. Mendoza didn't do this with the horrors at his command. It was you! Santa Bart suffers because of you! I'm to believe that you can be trusted as a Makai knight to safeguard the lives of the innocent? My mother. It's all I have of her. God damn it! Uh, that is enough! Don't you get it, Leon? You're a member of the Makai Knights no longer. You need to accept that. Think about this moment. How it came to this. And what's next for you. Figure yourself out, or you'll spend the rest of your life on your knees. If you want it, you'll have to take it by force. You lack the courage for even that. I'm disappointed in you, cousin. become a man until you let him fall and stand up on his own. Spoken like a man. <sighs> you damn Makai knights sure are something else. <laughs> Thanks for the help, really. Stand up, Leon. Thank goodness. The fires have burned out. You see? Worst if it's over. The prince! <gasps> Master Alfonso! I am relieved to see you all well. Praise God, you're safe, Highness. What of my father and mother? Though the king's malady still leaves him bedridden, he came to no further harm. The queen was not so fortunate. She heard that you'd return to Santa Bard. She dismissed all the servants. <laughs> and took her own life. <laughs> Dearest mother, I swore I would return here and set you free. And now I discover that your most noble of souls has gone on to its reward. down your sweet life, that Mendoza would have no sway over me. 
My own. I chastised you for your loss of control. But had it been my mother, I dare say I would have lashed out as well.